I've been seeing a lot of comments asking if I moved back into my house now that I've made a lot of progress with the office and the kitchen and so I just want to explain things a little bit better and also give a new apartment tour. So the kitchen and office renovations were already pre-planned and basically paid for before I found out anything was wrong with my house. For the kitchen, all of the cabinets were already in my garage and paid for and then the appliances obviously as you guys saw were pre-planned. And then the same with the office, all of those products were already pre-planned. So I was really excited about both of those spaces. So this all started once the kitchen renovation was already underway. I had a new team of contractors come to try to help with that. And that is when we discovered all of these issues with the structure and the electric that should not have gotten past inspection. I can't even tell you guys the emotions that I went through when I first found all of that out because not only was I so sad that I had to leave my house, but also at the same time, I had all of these things lined up that I was really excited about and I didn't know what was gonna happen or if I'd have income or a career. Like it was very stressful. So after I allowed myself to be sad for a few minutes, I had to buckle down and come up with some sort of plan. So the decision that I ended up making was to divide the house into two sections. We have side A and side B. So side A is where the kitchen, the office and bedroom, and then basement down below are stacked. And then on side B is where the living room is and some bathrooms. So side B is a side that has extreme issues. They want to completely knock it down, which not even gonna get into that today or I'll get emotional. <laughs> but side B would cost me more than it cost me to buy the house to fix. So I don't believe that I should have to pay that when I paid good money for an inspector who is an expert and has been in the field for so long. They're actually a master inspector. And I did specialized inspections as well. So I decided that we would focus on side A and then side B is something that I have to work towards with legal things. To be quite honest with you guys, legal stuff is so scary to me. This has been a very long drawn out process and I am so terrified and I don't like hurting people's like, feelings and stuff, but I'm put in this position where I have no option. So that is what I've been doing. Hopefully that works out. I also chose to keep working on side A because I was really excited about those spaces and the plans that we made and the collaborations. Like I was so excited, um, so I just wanted to make them happen. And also just for mental health, full transparency, every time that I would visit the house as a construction zone, when I never planned on it being a construction zone, and I was expecting to just have help installing my cabinets, um, I would have severe mental breakdowns. It was very upsetting. But now that I have an office, we have Wi-Fi set up, we have some water connected, I actually feel okay going there. I'm really excited to see the office and to be able to be in the office and work there. I'm always excited to go work on the kitchen because I see that visual progress and it's just been very good for me mentally. So right now my plan for the house is to focus on finishing up the kitchen and I will probably do some more rooms on side A as budget allows. For side B, I will have to keep you updated. And I just wanna say too, the second that I move back into that house, I will make sure that everyone knows. I will be so excited. I'll be posting about it everywhere so you will know when I move back in you don't have to worry. There's also just no toilets in the house so it's not livable at all. We had to gut everything to find more issues so not living there. Now as far as apartments go I gave you guys an update in December that I had moved into an apartment in Boston. That was such a big step for me because I'm someone who likes to just brute force it and not spend extra money but I needed a safe living environment. So I moved into a Boston apartment and that was kind of full circle for me because I used to really wanna live in Boston when I graduated because I love Boston. So I was very excited to have that experience, but they randomly decided to double the rent. And as much as I love Boston, paying double the rent for that small little room for two people and a cat, is not worth it, so I have moved. <laughs> I'm in another area of New Hampshire and I'm just kind of 
going on a tour of the East Coast at this point. I don't know if there'll be more apartments after this. It's all on a month by month basis because I don't know what's happening with the house, but hopefully I can do some apartment DIYs here because I was not allowed to at the other place. I hope all of this even makes sense, but without further ado, let's take a tour of this apartment. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you first walk in. This is the little kitchen area, and then there's this living area to the right. It has a really homey vibe, which I love. Over there is where the bathroom is, and then over here is the table. I love this little window situation with the table. Unfortunately, I have the blinds closed for safety, but Pip loves looking out of these windows all day long. And then over there is just the TV and everything like that. Those are lose consoles, but I did recently learn how to play Fortnite. I'm not good, but hit me up. And here is what the bathroom looks like. It's nothing too crazy, just a fun little cozy bathroom. And then there are stairs here, which Pip loves the stairs. She's climbing on those all day too. I was so excited to find a place with stairs. And then this is what the bedroom looks like at the top of the stairs. Pip loves the bed, as you can tell. There's this little desk set up over here for working. And then this is the bedroom. She loves it. And then there's just a little dresser right there and then the closet. So that's the bedroom area. And my favorite part is that you can overlook the whole living space from the bedroom. This is so cool. Thankfully, this is just high enough that Pip has not attempted to jump on it, which is amazing. But yeah, this is what the apartment looks like. It's a big change of pace. 